Come on in, come on in, come on in. It's time for Real News Talk today. Monday, August 22nd, 2022. Come on, share this with somebody right now. It's time for Real News Talk today. Live right here on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Share this with somebody right now. You don't want to miss the next 59 minutes. Oh, I love this intro music, don't you? <laughs> oh, blessed name. Yes, sir. It's time for Real News Talk today. This is Pastor Robert right here, and I'm so excited that you have joined us here today. Come on, tell a neighbor, tell a friend, telephone, telegraph. It's time for the news right here on the RFC TV network. Thank you for those of you who have joined us on Facebook. Give me some hearts, give me some likes, and share this right now to everybody on your feed. Those of you on YouTube, subscribe right now and also share this with somebody and also on Twitter, retweet this, retweet, retweet, retweet. Yes. And those of you listening to us on Spotify, we're so glad to have you. Out of all the podcasts you can listen to, you decide to come here to Real News Talk today. The next 28 minutes and 30 seconds is going to be fun and informative. So I'm definitely so glad about that. If you need to reach me, you can always reach me at our Rob Carpenter 2 on most social media platforms. Also, if you want for text updates, you can text me at 813-303-0151. That's 813-303-0151. And I will respond to those texts. If you'd like to be a subscriber, support what we're doing as we're uh, what we're doing, the podcast, and also on the Roku and Amazon Fire TV, be a, be a patron. Go to patreon.com, the RCTV Network, patreon.com forward slash RCTV Network for exclusive content. And for those of you who have Roku, and for those of you who have the Amazon Fire TV platform, just search for the RFC TV network and we'll have motivational minutes and service and such a guest interviews. We're trying to line up some great interviews for some information for things that you need right now here in this time that we live in. And also, of course, if you want to donate, you can always go to Cash App RC TV Networks with an S, Venmo at Rob Carpenter 2 PayPal. The RCTV network and with cryptocurrency, Coinbase at Rob Carpenter II. You ready? Let's get into it here. All right, let's go. Let me tell you something. What's let me let's see what's going on in the news today. Oh, let's see. We see here from the Daily Mail: five people, including four women between the age of 18 and 25, are killed in a head-on crash in Miami. Oh man, by a wrong way driver who was 30 years old. Now, the thing about this is this license, his license was revoked in 2014 for speeding. Let's uh, break this down and get the get the uh yeah, the, 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 the coolie on this, the information on this. Mikey, Mikey Simeon, 30, drove east in the westbound lanes of the Paul Bell Expressway. Now I'm trying to wonder how in the world, I'm trying to wonder how in the world should he get on the expressway the wrong way. We've had that happen a lot here in Tampa. Uh, several times where people have gone on I-275 or I-75 straight on the wrong way, going against traffic. And I don't even know how you can do this. He would have to be impaired. It says here that he smashed into a Honda sedan carrying five people, all ages, all oh, 18 to 25 this past Saturday. Oh, that's sad. All five people were killed on impact while he escaped death. Of course. The one who ran into him and killed the five young people Escape that he's in the hospital right now. That is horrible. That is horrible. All uh, the victims have not been identified officially, but their names are there. I'm not going to give the names out uh, just for the respect for the family. All of them were from age 18 to 25 and died at the site. If you go to dailymail.com, 
uh, you can see the pictures, the horrific pictures. It's horrible. <clears throat> it says the images from the scene showed the crumpled wreckage of their vehicles with one turn sideways and most of the driver's side completely missing. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Marky, Mikey Sh Simeon had been speeding the wrong way down the Palmetto Expressway uh, and slammed into the car about 4.30 in the morning, Saturday. The 30-year-old who survived and was hospitalized lost his license in 2014 for racing at 109 miles an hour. Mm, 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 mm. Poor thing, poor thing. These poor children, these poor parents. These poor parents got, oh, Lord. Uh, devastated family members set up a GoFundMe pages for the victims. And uh, following the crash, uh, one social media post dedicated to all five individuals who lost their lives read in Spanish. Today, five lives are no longer part of this earthly plane. Five lives full of dreams, goals, and purposes today will no longer be a part of us. I'm saying that is sad, and we need to pray for those families uh, that that are involved in this. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, yeah, they're going to get him, uh, Mikey Simeon, they're going to get him definitely a vehicular homicide. Uh, definitely, definitely. That is a sad, sad, sad case. Let's move along in the news. Give me some likes, give me some art, share this right now. Let's go see what else is going on in the world today. Are you ready? Let's see here. Another story here we got. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the RC TV network is here in Tampa, Florida. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Guess what? Tom Brady. Tom Brady has returned. Tom Brady has returned to the Buccaneers as this is a rumors and this mystery at the swirl. Brady is back. Number 12. Number 12. <laughs> yes, sir. Number 12 is back. Yes, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Tom Brady's highly anticipated return is upon us. The Buccaneers quarterback. This is from the New York Post. I guess I could look at this from the Tampa Bay Times, but anyway, the Buccaneers quarterback who stepped away from the team earlier this month to tend to personal matters returned to the team's facilities right here in Tampa today and is stated the practice later in the day. Although there's been much speculation about his whereabouts, including a wild theory about his possible participation at Fox's The Mass Singer, Pro Football Network reported Sunday that the seven-time Super Bowl champ of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers enjoyed a Bahamian getaway at an exclusive resort, primarily for family time with his wife, Giselle. Mm -hmm. In the days leading up to Brady's return, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport elaborated on the network's absence claiming it, well, uh, the quarterback's actions rather, claiming it pertains to desire for a work-life balance. Uh, no one is worried. He's fine, Rappaport said, and the recent appearance on the Pat McAfee show. To my acknowledgement, it is not a medical emergency related to him, or I believe anyone close to him. I was told everything is okay, that the best description I got about this, and then he's trying to find a nice work-life balance. How much is Tom getting? About $77 million? Man, listen, your life is balanced. Praise this holy. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Your life is balanced, huh? <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, listen, Todd Bowles, the Buccaneers' first year head coach, previously told reporters that Brady was expected to be back in action following Tampa Bay's preseason game against the Tampa Bay Tennessee Titans. We beat y'all, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, which took place on Saturday. He also made it clear the quarterback's absence. Never came as a surprise to Team Brass. This is something that we talked about before training camp uh, started. So that's good. Brady, look at this. He turned 45 on August 3rd. Is entering his 23rd season in the league after ending his 40-day retirement back in March. Back in January, he, uh, the quarterback, expressed how he wanted to spend more time with his loved ones. $70 million, you spend all the time you want. Just come on back in and make those. The <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, my wife is my biggest supporter, Brady said, of uh, uh, Giselle on the Serious XM podcast, Let's Go. Hey, that's mine. Dog, you took that from me. That's all right. You can have it. You can have it. You can have it. You can have it. 
uh, uh, it pains her to see me get hit out there and she deserves what she needs from me as a husband and my kids deserve what they need from me as a dad. That is wonderful. That is great. That is awesome, y'all. I'm going to spend some time with them and give them what they need because they've really been giving me what I need the last six months to do what I need to do. And I said this a few years ago. It's what relationships are all about. It's not always about what I want. It's all about what we want as a family. Y'all listen to that? Y'all hear that? Huh? You hear that? <laughs> uh-huh. I'm going to be spending a lot of time with them and figure out in the future what's next. Brady and his wife have two children together. Son, Benjamin, who's 12, and daughter, Vivian, who's nine. He's also quarterback to a 15-year-old son named Jack, who shares with his ex, Bridget Moynihan. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Tom Brady is back. Woo! It's time now for another another Super Bowl win. Am I right? <laughs> How many believe that? We got it, y'all. We got it. In other news, let's see here. Now, do you know what today is? You know what today is? Today, yesterday? Today is the 30th, is it 30th? 30th, 30th anniversary of something called Ruby Ridge. Y'all know about that? Ruby Ridge? Let's talk about that for a moment. Ruby Ridge was uh, in 1992, August of 1992, uh, began on the 21st. It was the site of an 11-day siege in 1992 in Boundary County, Idaho, near Naples. It began on August 21st when the deputies of the U.S. Marshals initiated action to apprehend and arrest Randy Weaver under bitch warrant after his failure to pin the, appear on firearm charges. It was messy. It was horrible. It was ruthless. It was just, oh, it was a, I'm telling you, it was rough, y'all. It was rough. Because uh, here it is. They, they ended up killing the lady's son and him and all that. It was just a bloodbath. That happened 30 years ago, the U.S. Marshals. Which brings me to our beloved FBI. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want them coming after me. Not that I've done anything wrong, but nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, the FBI and our federal, it, it, yeah, something, something's going on with that. Something is weird about that. You hear me say? Don't you hear me what I say? Huh? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Something ain't right. Something ain't right with the FBI and our U.S. Marshals, how they've been doing. But let's talk about it. Now, you all know that Donald Trump had a, uh, his home was raided uh, a couple weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, a couple weeks ago. And uh, they took they took everything but the kitchen sink, y'all, down in Palm Beach. And the funny thing about it was I was telling Dr. Ellis, uh, we were down there at Fifth Street Church of God. Uh, you know, the, you know, they're being sued by the, the bishop. And, and all that, that's, that's another story. That's the not, um, you know, ecclesiastical stuff. But listen, and we were down there, and we literally were about three miles from Mar-a-Lago that Saturday, and then they raided them on that Monday. I was like, oh, glad I'm going out of Palm Beach. But listen, breaking news, breaking news today. Trump sues the federal government over the Mar-a-Lago raid, says his Fourth Amendment rights have been violated, and asks for a special master to oversee the probe. Put your comments down below if you think that Trump is in the right, Trump is in the wrong. Was the FBI cool by doing a nine-hour search of his property? We've heard all kind of stuff. that He had nuclear secrets. He's going to sell to the Chinese and, and the Finnish and the Australians. And he, he had uh, the Russia pollute, the Russia hoax, the Russia collusion delusion uh, documents there. And uh, We've heard all kind of stuff, but the affidavit does have to be released and be redacted. It will be released soon. Now, here's another thing I found out that uh, the FBI agents told his uh, lawyers to have them turn off the video cameras, surveillance cameras, and uh, they didn't. So according to Eric Trump, uh, one day they're going to release those video tape to see everything they've been doing. They even said, y'all, that they were going to Melania's closet. Lord have mercy. I hope they didn't get you know, mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, let's see here what it says. The filing, according to the Daily Mail, filing calls the FBI raid a shockingly uh, aggressive move. It suits seeks the ju judicial relief as a special master, kind of like a special prosecutor, but not that, to oversee materials. They want a detailed list of property seized by FBI agents in this raid. Don't forget, they also got his uh, passports as well. They returned those back to him. Also, demands return of any documents 
not within the scope of the search warrant. Uh, the federal judge of Florida ordered the DOJ to offer redactions for an affidavit that much your search warrant. According to the Daily Mail, the raid came after Trump removed 15 boxes of materials. Trump's suit describes back and forth between the DOJ and the president's staff. He called it unnecessary, unwarranted, and un-American break-in. And uh, you know how Trump is. He's going he to drag it out. He's going to drag it out as long as he can. Isn't that right? Ooh, somebody broke some glass over there. So anyway, that's what's going on in the news today. This is Real News Talk today. Listen, I need to hear from you. Listen, you, I, you're my friend. You're my followers. You're my my you my peeps. You're my peeps. So if you want to follow me on any social media platform, most of us are Rob Carpenter 2 or Rob Carpenter I, I, just depending. Just follow me on there. Let me know you saw this podcast or you heard this podcast. And also, for text updates, you can go to text me at 813-303-0151, 813-303-0151. If you'd like to support what we're doing here on Spotify, here on uh, 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 the RCTV Network on Amazon, Fire TV, and Roku. Become a partner at patreon.com forward slash RCTV Network for some exclusive content and it's, uh, just for a minimum amount of month. And you get a free gift. We got a free gift waiting for the first 25 people that join and support on Patreon. We got a special gift we'll be mailing out to you at no cost to you. And then also, be sure to watch us on the RCTV Network. Just go to your streaming channels there, search for the RCTV Network, and you'll see several sermons there, uh, special interviews. We got some interviews we're looking. Uh, we're lining up now with some good, some good information. Now, I'm the, I don't do everything always silly, and everything isn't always church. So we're mixing it up a little bit, and we're gonna you're gonna be blessed by what you see. And then, of course, if you just want to do a donation, you can do Cash App, the R, our Cash App dollar sign RCTV Networks with an S, Venmo at Rob Carpenter Two, PayPal the RCTV Network, and for cryptocurrency, Coinbase, Rob Carpenter II. This is Pastor Robert L. Carpenter II, and I'm so glad that you are here and you've joined us. It's time now for another day. We'll see you next time on Real News Talk Today. Peace out.